This is Osaka Prefecture. Known for its vibrant metropolitan capital, delicious food, energetic nightlife, and some of Japan's most well-known sights. It's also home to historic Sakai, where master craftsmen once forged swords for samurai, and where today some of the nation's best footballers are developed. In this old city resides one of Japan's most famous football clubs, known for their pink shirts and named after the iconic cherry blossoms of the area. This is Cerezo Osaka. Cerezo Osaka is a club with a proud local history stretching back over 60 years. On match days, Osaka's sporting heritage is all around them as they inhabit a stadium that has been the stage for both a World Cup and a World Athletics Championship. The modern history of Cerezo begins in 1995 with their J-League debut. It was exciting times in the local area as Cerezo and neighbors Gambo Osaka engaged in a fierce rivalry. But while Gambo went on to stock their trophy cabinet over the years, Cerezo's was barren for a great deal longer. Up until 2010, Cerezo never finished higher than fifth in J1. They lost two finals, endured two separate relegations, and didn't even win promotion back to the top flight with the title. In 2014, many figured this would change. Cerezo looked to be turning the corner, winning the attention of many around the globe with the signing of superstar Diego Forlan. But they ended that season losing their top flight status again, dropping down to J2 for a couple of seasons. Cerezo is a club whose very name is all about transformation and bloom, though. And out of that trying experience came long-awaited success, starting in 2017. Promotion back to J1 marked a new era, and this entertaining Cerezo side set the league on fire, flying up to third place and winning not one, but two cup competitions that season. It was sweet success for Cerezo, who despite a trophy drought over the years, had become known for elite player development, including providing the springboard for future European stars like Shinji Kagawa and Takumi Minamino. Today, that legacy continues, as this year's side is stocked with Cerezo products. From the blossoming 20-year-old Ayumu Seko, fresh off J-League Rookie of the Year honors, to Yusuke Maruhashi, who is a big part of the 2017 double winners. The homegrown footprint is further apparent in the club's established veterans, as captain Hiroshi Kiyotake and all-time J1 top scorer Yoshito Okubo are both back for second stints in Osaka. These legendary Japanese football figures are not only back to help push Cerezo up the table, but to inspire that next generation of homegrown heroes. So what can we expect from this club in the future as they begin to see consistent success? Well, mere comfort in the top flight used to be the dream at Cerezo, but those days are far gone. This club now dreams of taking it further, much further in fact, of regular trophies, of making a mark in Asia, and perhaps soon of their first J-League title. Can they do it? Time will tell. But these cherry blossoms are now well and truly back in bloom in Osaka.